Welcome to Fishing for Mikey TV. I'm Mikey House, and today I am doing a. Well, I thought I'd show you how I clean my reels. Um, next week I'm actually moving. I'm going to England and then I'm coming back to Japan and I will be in Hiroshima. Um, so in Hiroshima I'll be doing lots of sea fishing, which means this is my new sea fishing reel. But. Um, I used it when I went sea fishing and as you might be able to hear it's kind of making weird noises now so I'll just sort of show you how I clean my reels um, what I do I mean I always use Prox Valtoms um, I'm looking to buy a spinning reel by Prox I just like Prox it's, it's such a great company um, I'm not attached to them, they're not really my sponsor, but I do talk to them sometimes um, because I want new gear and ask them like what style, what new stuff they have out and that sort of thing. So let's get into it. So the first thing I do is I open my reel. So with the procs, it's super easy to open, they click into place just like a normal reel, except they don't have the screw piece, which is really good. I like it because you just go like that, pop straight off. And the spool comes out, covered in oil, but quite it looks quite clean, quite clean, quite clean. Um, that's the only thing is it falls the the main gears fall out of place sometimes, so you have to be careful. Um, so what I do is I need um, basically what you need is. What I use is lighter fluid. Um, this is just cheap from the um, like the hundred yen shops or like the pound shop sort of thing, dollar shop, where buck shop, whatever the heck you want to call it. And or, um, if you're using this, do not. Some of you may know, do not use a plastic tub. I did because I'm an idiot and I don't know why. Yesterday I forgot because I was cleaning a reel to take back to England. Um, this is good for degreasing. This takes all the grease and oils out of everything. And then afterwards you need to, um, normally afterwards I also wash it with some other stuff. So you need a metal tin, so I'm using this um, hair wax tin. I'm going to put a little bit, um, if I'm going to clean the bearing completely I would normally um, dip it in and leave it. Now I do baby um, cotton buds. And the reason for that is that uh, the reason I use baby ones is because um, they fit into like in here easier, you know, into the guide, and then also into right down into the gear mechanism. It fits right in there, so I can clean the insides slightly easier. Whereas normally I have to take all of it off, so. What I do is the first thing I clean, and I get one of these. Um, I'll get a new one. Use that in a minute. And I just dip it in this the lighter fluid, let it soak it up, and then I clean the worm gear. So sorry, it's not very easy because I don't have a. I actually I never have a cameraman, so it's very hard for me to. Um, like I'm just gonna put my legs here because it's just easiest for me if I put the camera over the top of me, because um, I can show you. So. This, um, if you don't know, this is called the worm gear, or the worm shaft, right there. Now you get the lighter fluid, and then you rub it on there, because it gets rid of all the oil. You have to be careful because it's, as you know, it's plastic, like I said, it can melts plastic, and some reels are plastic, but this one is a bit of plastic, so after this, I have some special spray which I'll put on it which is um, parts cleaner which is used for 
cleaning all sorts of stuff. But as you see, it's super dirty. Because I haven't actually, I, I've only used this reel once when I went sea fishing last week. And it needs cleaning like right away. It just shows how dirty the sea is. It's had nothing but seawater going on it. And it's all black. Okay, so once you've basically got the majority of that off, what I do is what I'm going to go and do now, which I'll get back to you in just one second. I'll show you what I use. I just buy a big tube of this stuff. It's part, part cleaner. You just spray it and it's like a liquid and stuff. Water. So I'll Okay, guys, so now I've sprayed my um, gear with the stuff. You can kind of see it's... Wait, let me move. Quite a bit shinier. You can't. There's no gunk on it, so then I just get what a new another cotton bud, and then just dry that off slightly because it can leave a residue, and it'll just help take off the last bits that might be left on there. Now, as I do it, sometimes it's easier to do the um, worm gear with the spool in because you just twist the spool. You like take the um, whatever the what how you call it. I can't remember what you call it. Um, you just twist the spool and it's just easier as long as you don't press that down no you just, I just give it a quick clean see it's not very dirty at all now I also need you also need some tissues depending on what you use um, get it all off Later, I'll give this whole reel a spray the outside and then dry it off. So, right, I put oil and grease here on this bit here because it, um, instead of putting it, some people put it here, whereas I put it on the reel itself and then the spool because I hate cleaning spools because I always damage the pin when I take the um, thing off. So, what I do is I get the stuff again lighter fluid dip the cotton bud in it's exactly the same as before and then just wipe all of that grease off And now I'll quickly go and give this a spray before it starts melting. And then I'll show you what's happening. Okay, so now I've sprayed it. I mean, these are all in a sec few second periods, so I could just not pause the video, but it's easier if I just pause the video for you guys. Otherwise, you just be there watching the floor. Um, okay, so now that I've sprayed it, I'm just drying it off now. Let's give it a quick dry. Get out cotton bud if you look that that was the that's what it looked like but I just rubbed off not very clean at all just get a cotton bud and just you just really you just want to really um rub around all around here dry it off and then also just around here just take the grease out Um, so what we'd be doing is oiling it and everything. So the oil I like to use is just, um, you, buy, you can buy this Daiwa Real Guard oil. You get oil and spray together, uh, oil and grease spray. I use both. I have both. Um, I put the oil, a little bit of grease in here once I, when I come back from fishing normally. And not with all my reels, with, with my sea fishing reels, I always grease them. When I come back, I clean them quickly like wash them off and then let them dry and re-grease them um, so that's basically all gone just take the last little bits off okay so now that that's off 
and we just fix the um, gear inside, there we go, it just popped out, which it does if you mess with it, because uh, it's on a spring, this gear, little golden gear here is on a spring, and if you push on it, it, you can pop it out and get it stuck. If you look without the spool in it, it doesn't always. Sometimes it spins, sometimes it doesn't, because there's no pressure to make it spin. So as you might see, this was a pack, a huge, already full. This was a full pack yesterday, and I've used that many. So you do need to buy a whole pack of these things. Use a heck of a lot of them. And you just want to clean this bit as well. Nice bit. I'm just going to clean gently with a tiny bit of, tiny bit of lighter fluid, and then dry it off again. I'm not going to um, do any more to it, spray it or anything, because that means I have to dry the whole reel. But afterwards, I do get a wet cloth of water and then just wipe the outside of the reel off. Um, okay, so once you just need to clean this little thing here for the worm gear because it spins as you see. Um, and what you want to do is, if you want to get some, um, some people use grease, some people use oil. I use a bit of grease because this is the uh, uh, grease I use. It's not so good. I need to buy proper grease. This is for spinning reels. Um, I just put a tiny bit of grease on there, just like that, and then the, the bits on the sides you just want to wipe off, you don't want too much laying around, that will just help it spin, and it spins smoother, and now also the grease, uh, the, the worm gear, some people put um, grease, others put oil, I tend to put both. Um, the reason I put both is because it can it sometimes runs smoother when you put both um, that's the only reason so also because my reel is covered in oil because I put loads of oil on it so what you want to do is now you've done that you just want to get your bearings so you're going to have two bearings either side this one and this one I'm going to start with this one this you don't have to spray off afterwards. I do because it just it um, helps to get rid of it. You don't want to put too much lighter fluid on. You just want to wipe a bit on the outside. Where's all the light fluid gone? Light fluid dry evaporates, which is really, really strange. So you just want to kind of spin it and just take off all of the grease on the outsides. As you see, all that gunk there. Um. It's not always good for the real for for the bearings to have that much gunk on them. It's the only thing with lighter fluid is that it evaporates. So, like I said, you just you don't want to put too much on because that will mean your bearing will then be um, a greasiest bearing, which is actually it just makes the real spin so much better. But it's so loud sometimes really irritating so that's why that's the only reason I don't do it I've just done it with one reel now because I was having trouble with it the bearings were just getting stuck all the time and it's a nightmare so that's why I took all the grease out of them so you just want to run that over like that give it a quick clean Want to give the whole thing a really quick clean, and then get a dry cotton bud and just wipe it off with it.
So this is what I do with all my bait casters and spinning reels. Um, when I come back from fishing normally, but um, this one I've left it a week because I wa washed it and did it wrong and everything and then I didn't have any lighter fluid so I bought some yesterday. Sometimes you can use gas but it depends on what kind of bottle the gas comes in. I spray it sometimes with um, lighter gas which works pretty well as well. Okay so that's basically done now. Um, give me a second. Close my door, my legs really hurting now. Um, okay, so that's basically the the spool and the main reel itself done. Now, sometimes I do this bearing in a minute. Sometimes I like to take this off, and there's just a bearing here that I like to clean. This time I'm not going to clean it. I've oiled it, but I am. What I am going to do is put a little bit more light fluid in here because it just keeps evaporating, which is really strange. I've never known. I don't get that. Um, I'm just going to quickly, because I put uh, I put some oil here the other day. There's oil there, so I just want to get all that oil off. Sometimes it's easiest to just use a tissue and like flatten it. I can't really show you this on video because the way I have to do it. Um, I sound like I always just talk and talk and talk. I'm sorry, guys. It seems like I just talk like really stupidly for ages and not do anything. But um, so yeah, you just want to quickly rub it around with a cute. No, why do I call it a Q-tip now? I've been watching too many f different kinds of videos. I was watching Andrew Flair doing one of these the other day. Um, well actually it was today. I, I'd already I'd already planned to make this video for quite a while. Um, but I kept never sugar. I'd never got round to it. Um, and then today I was watching YouTube and then I saw Andrew Flair put one up. I thought ah I don't know. Let's put one up now as I've got time today. Yesterday was my day off but I had to, loads of stuff to do because of me. I'm moving to Hiroshima, so I had to do stuff. So I didn't have time to go fishing or anything, which is really annoying. But um, I might, I believe, I'm going fishing possibly on the twentieth um, when I go to England. I'm going pike and perch fishing with my cousin Levi. Um, it's going to be fun. Here you'll see him in the videos. He's always watched. He watches all my videos, I believe. Well, he claims he does anyway. So, let's we'll see. Okay, so that's done. Now we're going to put this all back together. So, as as I go, I put some oil on. Always oil the bearings. I do. Um, even if they've already got grease in them, I like to oil them. If you, as you see, this one only runs slowly. I'll show you. I'll show you two. I'll show you my spool of my new bearing, the bearings I cleaned yesterday without. Um, so that's that spool. And I'll, now I'll just quickly sh show you what it looks like greaseless, how fast they spin. So this is a reel that's greaseless now. It doesn't spin very fast now, but if I take the wheel off, it just. Wait, let me loosen that. Spinning a bit slower today. Let me just get this out. Well, it was greaseless, but now it seems to be very slow. It's probably got grease in it. Let me just. I'll clean this very quickly. And then I'll show you how I. Normally, if I'm going to um, completely degrease a reel, what I will do is literally just take the whole take take this off this bearing and then dip it in oil in the lighter fluid which is what I did yesterday
or oh, spill a bit of light fluid. Make my my place stink. Like light fluid. You just wanna. You really just wanna get it out. This one is a uh, all greaseless and oilless, uh, oilless. Real, um, not real. The, the gears themselves have oil on, but the bearings are completely um, gone. So the gears have grease. The oil and the bearings. Um, I normally don't put any oil on them. I just make sure they're clean always. And if it starts to spin, um, make weird noises, then I'll put some oil, a little bit of oil in. But usually I don't put any in once I've de um, degreased and oiled them, taken all of it off, and then we don't do anything to them. Okay, so I think that's. This is really dirty today. I'm sorry that interrupt him, that was my mum. She walked in. She came she came and asked told me do, do I need to get showered before work? So you know. Um Okay so That is so now I've basically this is partially degreased, it spins a lot faster than the other one. Um this is actually this is not actually the spool from this one. This is um, because the spool, out of, I broke this one, the, the um, worm gear pin I snapped, I was getting rid of a dial sporza, so I took all of the gear stuff out of the dial sporza that I could use, and um, I've kept it, and this spool, this spool is actually from the, this is the Prox Valton BC, BC2101H, um, but the side, this side piece, and the spool is from BC One, One Hundred One H. So the the year before's model, um, whereas this one is a BC Fifty One. So this is the brand new model. Um, I also have a BC F One, which is a eight point one gear ratio, and I also have a BC something else, which is a six point three gear ratio. This one is seven, uh, six point two to one gear ratio. This one is six point three to one, uh, um, and I also ha did have an eight point one to one, but it doesn't hold enough line for me. Um, it only holds eighty meters of eight pound um, um, mono, which isn't very good. It's for cranking um, super fast baits and all that kind of stuff. But for me, I keep an average of between um, for sea fishing. I do a seven point three. But for river, uh, everything else, I actually always use only a 6.2 to 1. Because I really like 6.2 to 1. I do have a 7.3, I believe. Um, Daiwa 7.3 reel that I use as well. But that's right-handed and I'm not very good at I don't really like it. So, as I was saying, I clean that one with the oil. And then I don't do anything to it. I put it back in. And then this one as well. This one used to was spinning really fast yesterday. Let's just see if it can still spin at the same speed. This one's a really good one. If you see how fast it spins. Wait, that hurt my finger. So this one is has oil in it. This one, I believe, I oiled. So I will actually take some of the oil out because it does work a lot faster without oil. So I'm just, I just like normally it would take one one go, but it takes me a few times. I just have to. I just like to clean it and clean it, and then take all of the stuff out and then clean it again. leave it a day or two to let it all settle and then clean all the stuff out okay so that even though I cleaned it yesterday it's still quite dirty so that's now now this reel is done so I can get back to the main reel like I said as I was just trying to show you how that this reel is, spins really fast considering it's a mix of loads of different reels the, that this is the only problem with it the noise 
but look how fast that reel spins. Is, um, now there's only one place I didn't clean yesterday. I just looked now, and it's the first place I should I always clean. That I just said to you about the worm gear. It's the dirtiest bit on a reel. So. makes so much noise just by taking out a thing so I'm just gonna put a bit of grease which I like to do all the way around this rim piece here like all the way around here this bit here on the outside except I put it inside of here so it's not Now this is the only one that does need a bit of oil. Is this? Sometimes the bearings are slightly old, where so like this one I had to clean them all because they're old. So I just clean them and give them a tiny bit of oil that I then wipe off before it all goes in. So it's only just a little bit lubricated, so it doesn't make such a horrible noise. See now it makes. I mean it doesn't spin as fast. But at least it, the noise is slightly less and it doesn't really irritate me when I'm fishing. So there's one noise I just could not stand and that is the noise of reels rubbing on each other. Like the bits rubbing. Because it sounds like the reel's broken and it, that just really pains me when I break a reel. There's, Breaking a rod to me, breaking a rod is what I don't is is sad, but it's okay. But breaking a reel is just, especially my bait casters, because they cost. A, I spend a lot of money on my bait casters, um, mainly because I'm left-handed. I use the reel this hand, which you might notice, and these cost. I don't know understand. I don't understand why they cost so much, but they cost a lot more money. Or well, they can cost a lot more money for one. For <coughs> right hand than they do for left hand, just for whatever reason. So I also I always loosen the drag when you're storing a reel. Um, otherwise, it can damage it. It's always best to loosen the drag. And I just put some. I like to put a bit of oil in because the drag sometimes gets stuck. Just put a bit of oil in because otherwise, just like now you touch it and the drag's stuck on and it doesn't work because I haven't actually used this reel and I left the drag on because I'm an idiot because I broke the worm gear pin like I said okay so this is going to be a really long video for some reason okay so that's done now back onto this reel I've basically done it now um, everything's right back in its place now it spins super fast now so now all to do is just clean this last bearing and this sometimes takes this one just get the oil clean this one properly so one you should clean very dirty considering it's a brand new reel um, so I've almost done now just a quick finish
You see this spins really well and doesn't make any noise. So you just want to do that a few times. And if it starts making a noise you want to put a little bit of oil in because you don't really want a new reel to make noise. See once you've had a reel a long time you'll notice that you need to take the grease out of them. The bearings whereas I put grease back in them normally. I normally don't use oil. Okay so now that is done as well. Let's pop that back on. And now you really should be good to go. You just loosen so when you do it you should loosen this and this when you store a reel. There we go. So now my reel's back to how it used to be. So now all we've got to do is put some oil on here. I normally put grease on the worm gear, but this reel, um, as it's a sea fishing reel, I like to use oil on my sea fishing reels. Um, the reason for that is grease holds all the salt that um, grease holds all the sea salt and all that kind of stuff um, in it, which isn't always is never good at all. Whereas the oil and the oil is easier to get off than the grease is. If you know, you might know that it's blimmin' hard to get um, grease off things. Like then, it took me a while and I had to spray it and everything. Which, to be honest, I don't really want to be doing that all the time. So it just makes it easier to do it this way. But considering I've only used this reel once, it's ridiculously dirty. It just proves how that just proves how dirty your reel gets when you use it. Okay, guys. So there's the finished product. It spins super fast. I don't know if I should put like a black dot on it so you can see how fast it's spinning because I don't know if you can see it. Let's just do that. don't have any pens. My brother's pens are rubbish. Let me just get a pen. I have a pen here. Huh? To show you how fast this actually runs. It's ridiculous how you can take... You take a thing that supposedly makes everything run the fastest. All this like... Skateboard bearings, bearing cream, super hybrid cream and all this stuff. I'm a skateboarder, so I'm a scooter rider and a skateboarder and stuff and roller skates are, so I know all of the pin of stuff that you can get for bearings and none of it is actually as good as just nothing. You empty some bearings, they spin faster. Well, I just ended up painting my reel with that gold paint. It looks pretty cool. That was really dumb. Okay, so you, I'm not sure if you can see this. Well, anyway, it spins, as you can see by the handle, it's spinning pretty fast. Okay, if we do this challenge, let's go. I'm going to spin it, when I press the button, I start counting. One, two, ah, I touched it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. About eleven seconds. One. One, two, three, four. I keep touching it, that's my problem. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's quite fast. Um Hey guys, thanks for watching. Sorry about the quality and everything and seeing my legs and that kind of stuff is just kind of weird but um, I have to do everything on the floor at the moment because my place isn't exactly normal. Um, as I said, I'm going fishing soon. I will be moving soon so I'm going fishing every day. I've just bought a new camera, the SJ Cam SJ4000 Wi-Fi um, so I can use it on my iPod so I can see what I'm doing because it's that's the only reason I don't use my GoPro is because I can't see what I'm doing and neither can I really on my phone. So, stay tuned for those videos. They're going to be awesome. Almost every day I'll be uploading them or as much as I can. Um, 
I've been probably going fishing every day and then I'll upload some like a long video or something. But you'll see them. So stay tuned for those. And I'll see you soon guys. Mikey out.